you have killed again. I have forbidden you from bloodshed forever. Why did you do this? I had no choice, father. Do not tell me that you had no choice. No matter how dire the situation, one always has a choice. Stand up, Juve! Now draw. <laughs> Do not expect any special treatment. any foe. Yet I knew you would not harm your own father. I used this knowledge against you. You must always win your fights, Jubei, even if it means exploiting the sacred love between father and son. This is a rule from which you must never waver. Let your left eye be a reminder that a samurai cannot rely on strength alone. And with your right eye, seek out the strength of purpose befitting a samurai. The Yagyu will be the finest swordsman in Japan. But swordsmanship goes beyond the sheath. You cannot rely only on strength and kill indiscriminately. I have no interest in your platitudes. I am far different from you. I have outgrown your advice. The sword is an instrument of war and death. To use it incorrectly is to commit murder. You must learn to win without unsheathing your sword. The Yagyu warrior understands the true value of life. Jubei, leave Edo. At the end of the Age of War, weapons mastery was evolving into a form of art. Some men had developed their technique to a level of genius unmatched in history. Master swordsman Musashi Miyamoto fought his first duel at the age of 13. Although he hoped to become king of a rural province, his tireless training propelled him to military greatness. He fought in over 60 duels and was unconquerable. Matamon Ariki left an indelible mark on history at the duel of Kagia Corner. There he killed 36 people in one of the most famous battles of revenge. Inshun Hozui was such a virtuoso that a technique of spear combat now bears his name. Botaro Tamiya, another master of swordsmanship, has been remembered through the centuries by the theater of Bunraku and Kabuki. Muninori Tajima no Kami, a Yagyu, was a master samurai in the Tokugawa regime. He commanded great respect. He had thousands of followers of his teaching. Jubei Yagyu, son of Muninori, was said to be the rebirth of Sekshusai Yagyu, the original father of the Yagyu Brotherhood of Swordsmen. The skill and triumphs of these warriors are legend, yet history has remained quiet regarding their deaths, which are still shrouded in mystery. Little is said about Musashi, who perished in the foggy mountains of Kumamoto, or Mataimon Araki, who was poisoned after Kakia Corner and whose murderer was never found. Their chapters in history were left unfinished, just as their dreams and inspiration for battle remain unknown.
run away with your yelling. Don't try and boss me around. <laughs> How nice to come back and see the children playing. There they are, Yataro! There! I got them! I got them! Good job. And I think we have enough to take home for dinner. Hand over those fish. Hurry, or we'll be late for practice. <laughs> Don't worry, Anui. It's just a garden snake. Its bite isn't poisonous. My sister isn't afraid of snakes. She just wants to be close to you. Jube, Jube, Jube is all she says. So, there's nothing wrong with that. Jube. <sighs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Is anyone there? Hello? Anyone? <sighs> Is the castle empty? What has gone on here? This is terrible. Oh, Jushin Seguguchi. Welcome back to Yagyu Castle. Welcome? This place has fallen into ruin. This is a disgrace for the Yagyu family. <sighs> I'm afraid that Lord Jubei has been somewhat remiss in its upkeep. I see. I will have to speak to him then. <laughs> Father! Huh? <laughs> Idiots! A samurai daughter out killing snakes and rolling around in the mud? Bad girl! <laughs> <laughs> and you, Yataro! <laughs> the heir to this family's name out catching fish? They're young. There's no need to be so hard on them. The Tokugawa regime is extremely stable. War is a thing of the past. It is foolhardy to think that way, Jubei. Especially for one born into a noble samurai family. <laughs> oh? Lord Jushin, please don't worry about things like that. Let this delicious fish take your mind off it. Here. Onwe and Yataro caught it. Please let me know if you need anything else. Oh, Hina? Is that really you? You have grown into quite a beautiful young woman since the last time I saw you. Lord Jubei, your meal? Onwe, on the other hand, still goes fishing. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> so, tell me, Lord Jushin, what brings you all the way out here so unexpectedly? Of course, let me explain. Tomorrow I must take Ohina and Anui back to Kishu with me. What? <clears throat> I don't want to! I refuse to go with you! I want to stay here, near Jubei. <laughs> you must! This is by mandate of Lord Yorinobu Tokugawa, our ruler. Lord Yorinobu? Correct. He has ordered that we bring him all unmarried daughters of noble families between the ages of 15 and 22 immediately. That's a strange request. Is he planning to take a mistress? Uh -huh. Ugh. Mm? Uh, I was given no explanation. I don't fully understand the mandate. It's none of my business, really. But my lord seems possessed of a fiery ambition. Hmm. 
He has been amassing soldiers and food. It is believed that he will increase taxes, and he has terminated many long-term and loyal servants. And there have been many unknown people coming to his castle. Interesting. But what does that have to do with his collecting girls from the territory? I'm not certain it has anything at all to do with it. I do know that quite a few young girls have been missing recently from villages in the area. Mm -hmm. yeah, that story sounds suspicious. I think it's safer if you leave the girls here rather than take them with you. Jubei, of course I would like to do as you wish. But my lord has personally ordered me to bring them, and immediately. I see. Well, these two have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Their mastery of martial arts is more impressive than the average samurai around here. <laughs> Stay over and watch their sparring match. You'll be quite impressed with their improvement. That's a very good idea. I've already witnessed Anwi's improved ability to catch snakes, but I would rather see her ability applied to her training in martial arts. You'll see. You'll be surprised. What's wrong? You're letting your food get cold. You're right. Everyone, eat your dinner. Don't waste food. Come on. Begin! I surrender! Good. Good. On the way, get ready. You're next. Ready! Careful! She's lots tougher than a snake! Begin! This match should be an interesting one. I see that Jubei has been working with both of you since the last time I was here. An excellent match. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Lord Jushin, take care and travel safely. Thank you, Jubei. Thank you for giving me shelter for so long. A memento for Botoro? Yes. <sighs> Jube! Hmm? Be sure to take a bath at least once every three days and always change into clean clothes. <laughs> you should do the same so you can prepare yourself for marriage and find a good husband. I won't! When I was eight years old, you promised me that you'd marry me. Are you going to break your promise since I'm going away? Hmm? I did? Well, I don't remember that. Oh! Enough, Anwi. Huh? Jubei doesn't want to listen to that. Don't annoy him. Besides, Jubei would much rather marry a beautiful princess than a tomboy like somebody I know. Yataro, you sure know a lot for your age. <laughs> Yataro, that's it! Come back here! Wait! <laughs> Anyone's mistress! I'm sure Jubei will be waiting for you when you return! Thank you! Desai, who do we have in Kishu now? Sajuro, I believe. Get in touch with him immediately. Tell him not to take his eyes off Wakayama Castle. What's wrong? I'm not sure yet. I'll be gone for four or five days. Take care of things around here for me. Yes, sir.
Never tire of that, do you? So what? You did it last night as well. But tonight, I'm not in the mood. <gasps> tonight, I'd rather kill rats. <sighs> over already? The authorities of Shosetsu will hear of this. But if you die, the authorities will never find out. We'll see about that. Now! <laughs> I have wanted to kill a man for a long time, and now I, Matamo Naraki, am surrounded by possibilities. I don't believe you. Mataimon was killed over three months ago! Perhaps! But now I am... BORN AGAIN! And you'll die again! What's the matter? Are you bored already? This was just beginning to get interesting. <laughs> Was that the Yagyu? Who cares? You just ruined a perfectly good game! 
Is that you, Godayu? Yes. Come in. The enemy must have been especially strong if you were injured. Yes, I am sorry. Tell me, how was it there? Dangerous. They are organizing masterless samurai into a small army. Lord Yorinobu, the Tokugawa in Kishu, is financing the operation. I see. Is Yorinobu attempting to expand his territory? That, or worse. There are strange, unnatural creatures gathering there as well. Really? What did you see? I can't describe it. What was it? I have trouble believing it. I saw ghosts. Are you sure? Yes. The Spear Master in Shunhoizuin was there. I saw Mataimon Araki, who was murdered after killing 36 people at Kaguya Corner. And I saw Botaro Tamiya, who was supposed to have died at the home of the Yagyu in Awari three months ago. Impossible! Were you drinking before you went there? No, of course not. I see. Those men were some of the most skilled and renowned warriors that ever lived. It is not yet summer, and already the ghosts... What is Shosets Yui trying to do now? <coughs> Sir, are you all right? <coughs> One person that would be helpful right now is Jubei. Quiet! He has been banished from this house. Forgive me for suggesting it. Continue your watch over Shosetsu. Yes, sir. Well then, Jubei. Will you return? Are you saying that Satan will return to this world? I said it was possible. But you saw the impaled head of Toksada Shiro Amakasa on the battleground. Hmm. The Shimabara. The Christians. Toksada Shiro Amakusa. Suaiken Mori, the retainer of the deceased Yokinaga Konishi. Leading now to the revival of Satan. Luckily, all my acquaintances are quite familiar with the underground routes in the area. It shouldn't be difficult to mobilize people. Be careful how involved you become in this. I have a really bad feeling. Nonsense. It's a waste of energy to worry about me. If you ask me, Jubei, it is too early in your career for you to retire. I want to retire. I hate committing murder in the name of duty. I see. You've gotten tired. How many people have you killed, Jubei? I don't know. It's been too many to keep track of, hasn't it? Lord Izun Kami has released you from his service. If you have truly grown tired of it, perhaps the best thing is to stop for a while. You can rest for as long as you need in the village of Yagyo. You remind me of someone. There was a man who, exactly like you, began to lose himself while seeking to exceed all others in swordsmanship. I have known him for 40 years. Now he lives alone in the middle of the Higo Mountains, no longer in anyone's employment. I believe you know him. His name is Musashi Miyamoto. 
Thank you, teacher. I'll return in about 10 days. Would I be able to defeat him now? Come, Lord Mori. Beginning.
Remain calm! <laughs>
now draw. <laughs> Do not expect any special treatment. any foe. Yet I knew you would not harm your own father. I used this knowledge against you. You must always win your fights, Jubei, even if it means exploiting the sacred love between father and son. This is a rule from which you must never waver. Let your left eye be a reminder that a samurai cannot rely on strength alone. And with your right eye, seek out the strength of purpose befitting a samurai. The Yagyu will be the finest swordsman in Japan. But swordsmanship goes beyond the sheath. You cannot rely only on strength and kill indiscriminately. I have no interest in your platitudes. I am far different from you. I have outgrown your advice. have killed again. I have forbidden you from bloodshed forever. Why did you do this? I had no choice, father. Do not tell me that you had no choice. No matter how dire the situation, one always has a choice. Stand up, Juve. Okay. 
Majima no Kami, a Yagyu, was a master samurai in the Tokugawa regime. He commanded great respect. He had thousands of followers of his teaching. Jubei Yagyu, son of Muninori, was said to be the rebirth of Sekshusai Yagyu, the original father of the Yagyu Brotherhood of Swordsmen. The skill and triumphs of these warriors are legend, yet history has remained quiet regarding their deaths, which are still shrouded in mystery. Little is said about Musashi, who perished in the foggy mountains of Kumamoto, or Mataimon Araki, who was poisoned after Kakia Corner, and whose murderer was never found. Their chapters in history were left unfinished, just as their dreams and inspiration for battle remain unknown. The sword is an instrument of war and death. To use it incorrectly is to commit murder. You must learn to win without unsheathing your sword. The Yagyu warrior understands the true value of life. Jubei, leave Edo. At the end of the Age of War, weapons mastery was evolving into a form of art. Some men had developed their technique to a level of genius unmatched in history. Master swordsman Musashi Miyamoto fought his first duel at the age of 13. Although he hoped to become king of a rural province, his tireless training propelled him to military greatness. He fought in over 60 duels and was unconquerable. Matamon Ariki left an indelible mark on history at the duel of Kagia Corner. There he killed 36 people in one of the most famous battles of revenge. Inshun Hozui was such a virtuoso that a technique of spear combat now bears his name. Botaro Tamiya, another master of swordsmanship, has been remembered through the centuries by the theater of Bunraku and Kabul.